Hello my dear friend, welcome back. Uh, I am David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com In this video I'm going to talk about a C program that is another version of the exponential function that uh, we did last time. So it is the exponential function example two. By doing this exercise, you uh, can learn how it is possible to solve the same problem in uh, different uh, ways. So let's start. We open uh, code blocks that is uh, an open source cross platform IDE. So we need to click here, create a new project, console application, next, C, because we want a C program. Project title, we call it exponential function. Example 2. Exponential function example 2. Ok, finish. So we use the new co GCC compiler. Finish. Ok, we need to click here in the folder sources the, the file main.c. So uh, we can start to write uh, our, our program. So return 0, we can write instead of return 0 exit success because we are using uh, this, the standard library.h we use uh, so the standard input output library and the standard library ok, we can delete this line so inside the main function we write uh, int i comma and f semicolon so we have created the three variables three integer variables that are i n and f then we need to create three float variable variables x s and p semicolon so f is one and f is the factorial s is the one and f is the sum p so p is the one p is equal to one and p is the power So print f this program calculate the value of e raised to x backslash n because we want a new line and f to the end semicolon. This program calculates the value of e raised to x. Another print f. The approximation is given by n iterations. Backslash n. Semicolon at the end. So print f. Between parentheses, between quotation marks, x is equal to semicolon at the end. Can f so percent f and percent x. So uh, what is x? X is the exponent. So here we we write on the screen x is equal to and here with the function scanf we are reading the value that the user must uh, give using the keyboard. So 
This, this variable is the call of the act. This, this symbol is the ampersand because uh, we are uh, passing to the function scanf the address because uh, x is a scalar percent f uh, the meaning of this the symbol is that uh, um, we are uh, passing a float we are giving our float to the function scanf then the print f between parentheses, between quotation marks, n is equal to and uh, the semicolon at the end, scan f. This time is a percent d because it is an integer, and percent n. So we are uh, we are passing to the scan f uh, the variable n that is an integer. And then is the number of iterations. So for i is equal to 1, semicolon i less than or equal to n, semicolon i plus plus, because we want to increment by 1, so f is equal to f times i semicolon f is the factorial t that is the power is t times x and this is the difference between this program and the first example because we are not using the power function but we are calculating the power um, with the multiplication t times x then we calculate the uh, sum that is s is s plus t divided by f semicolon print f so we need to uh, print on the screen the uh, final value that is the last f value that we have calculated percent F because it is uh, a float backslash n because we want a new line comma s because we want to print the s variable so we have finished so we can click here build and run this icon so we click here So this is the prompt. This program calculates uh, the value of e raised to x. The approximation is given by an iteration. We uh, we write one. So we want to calculate the value of e raised to one. That is e. Ten iterations, and after ten iterations, we obtain this 2.71882. That is the value of uh, the number e. Okay, so let's try the release, build and run. This time uh, we write as x2 as n 10 and we obtain that e raised to uh, 2 is 7.388999 5 okay the program works this uh, second example is important for understanding that uh, you can solve the same problem in different ways using uh, different uh, algorithms so i want to remember that uh, on my website you can find a lot of examples that are uh, exams uh, if you are studying for becoming a software engineer you can uh, use my website 
you can find a lot of information about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and so on. You can find also a lot of games. So, for example, you can play chess against the CPU. You can chat with me. Uh, you must sign up using uh, an email. And, uh, dear friend, your donation is important. Help me update this website and join this community. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.